Okay guys, let me show you how easy this little stereo system that I bought. Um, bought the internet for around $87.99 at the time, five or six months ago. Comes with two speakers, left speaker, right speaker, mounting brackets and the bolts to hold it on, mounting bracket bolts to hold it on, a volume control, that is your control functions hand, for your hand. The uh, amp itself is right here. Um, that controls your bass, treble, your modes, your up and down to change your radio station. Uh, myself, I have an MP3 player mounted to it as well, which is plugged right in. Everything's plug and play. Everything's mounted to the back of the um, amp itself, which I ran mine back to my uh, toolbox area, as you see here. This is a 2004 Honda Shadow Arrow. Has a chrome side cover with your little toolbox for your tools. Um, I just opened it up. There's a little partition in here. I cut off of the hole saw, key saw, and slid it in there. Ran all the wires from the back through here. Um, plugged in uh, empty plate there here. And I just leave it on my favorite radio station since it does have an FM built-in tuner, which um, that's why I bought this particular unit for the fact is um, not only if you, you can hook up your MP3 player to it, well, if your MP3 player is dying, going dead, you can charge it, long rides, what have you, and you don't have no access to your FM, uh, I mean, excuse me, to your uh, MP3 player, well, the unit itself has a built-in FM tuner with it, which is why I bought this one. It's an easy install, like I said, plug, plug and play. Everything plugs into the back of the unit itself through through here once you move all this stuff out of the way anyway. But itself, it's, it mounts no relay, positive, positive side and negative side, and then plug everything in. Boom, that's it. I ran everything under my tank, down the side of the tank here. Zip tied everything in there nice and tight. You see everything zip tied. Stuffed extra wire in here. Now to install it this far back, I did have to lengthen the cables um, on my speaker itself, speaker itself, which I just used regular audio video cable I had laying around, peeled it back, um, lengthened it back in here. As you can see, I have it lengthened in here. That's why I lengthened it. I can plug it, pull it right out if I wanted to. Um, I used quick connectors that just made it easier for me in case I want to uh, move everything around. It's easy to access. Um, I like it being mounted here. It's totally waterproof. It's figured itself a waterproof, and um, it's a pretty cool little unit. Like I said, these little brackets that it came with, um, in the instruction, they want you to mount it to your stem of your mirrors, which I did mount it there um, for a little bit. I just didn't like the way they stuck out, and to me, I think the sound is going to be better here on my windshield because the windshield is protecting the wind. Now, I did have, when I had it this side here, trying to mount to this stem, um, my brake caliper was hitting in here. So I, I would have had to do a little bit of grinding in here, which wouldn't take but a minute or so, so you can mount it there if you wanted to. Pretty easy to do. Um, this is where I found I like mine. Now let's listen to this little unit. Turn it on. Now this is the mode button. You just put down, hold the mode down. So the light comes on, boom, the light's on. Now the unit is on itself. Um, Tap the button. Turn it down. That is on FM mode. That is uh, here in Dallas, 97.1 The Eagle, um, which I don't get very good reception in my garage, but here's what it sounds like on FM mode in my garage. Um, that is not the really quality of the sound, that is the uh, no reception. Now let's turn on my MP3 player here, which I have the Creative Zen. I bought it at Walmart for a hundred bucks. Um, it has everything. It has a built-in FM tuner on it as well. Download all your songs to it. You can download movies to it. You can download all your pictures to it. That's why I like this little unit. I got a bell code here. Boom, I want to go into somewhere. Unplug it. And put it in my pocket, I'm ready to go. Get ready to go back riding, stick it back on there, get to go. Unplug it on the side, real simple. Um, 
Let's turn it over to that mode there. You want to go back to the MP3 mode? Click it. Now you're back to this stereo mode. Watch it. I can work the volume from my unit itself here. And of course my hand free. how high it will go. Now I'm going to tell you this little stereo will will jam. For the hundred bucks you're going to spend, it's amazing. Now my bike, is, as you can see, I am running Cobra aftermarket exhaust. And my exhaust have no baffles in it at all. I've cut them all the way out. They're removed. And um, if you're going down the highway 60, 70 miles an hour, really getting on it. And you have your stereo up on 18 to 20, you can still hear it clean as day. I mean, it is amazing how loud this thing is. Um, I'm really impressed with this little stereo unit. Real easy to install, guys. Um, go check it out. Um, and I said it's 87.9 on the internet. There's a couple different brands. There's a D Doll, DWG, or something like that. Um, it's a little bit different than this unit. It doesn't have the, diff the FM tuner on it. This unit I have does have the FM tuner on it. And I'll show you how. Let's switch it back to the FM tuner mode. And turn it down. Turn off my little MP3 player here. And the lighting in my garage is not real well, so as we can see. You see the sound, you can't see it, the lights, but it does tell you, it's got a clock on it, it's telling you it's on 97.1. And it it's on approximately 10 level of sound if you work it from here sound as you can see i can work it here to make it real loud turn it down from here this is where you know if you really want to work it all the time and don't have an mp3 player this is a good unit if you don't have an mp3 player and you just want to listen to fm tune your fm tuner excuse me uh, me the way i've got my setup i've got it bi-functional which that's why i like it um, I had it before, you can mount it, you know, in here, your, um, your actual amplifier, amplifier tuner itself somewhere in here with a saddle with a bag or something, but I said I want to mount them waterproof, and for the price that you're paying for it, why not buy a little MP3 player too that you can take off and be good to go. So that's my little unit, and like I said, it's an easy install, everything plugs right in. Now to run it back this far, like I said, to where I have my mounting on my side cover on my 2004 Honda Shadow Aero, I used the toolbox again, and I had to lengthen the cable wires. So that's pretty much all there was to it. Easy install, 15 minutes to install. Might take a little longer to find out where you want everything to mount, but you can see it's a real clean mount. It's even hard. It's real hard to see. Here's the front view of it. You barely even see the speakers. Um, Looks real clean on my windshield. That's why I put mine there. So, there you guys go.